friends, Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Today I have a bunch of whips to show you and a few finished objects. Um, I decided to do a little bit something, I don't know, a little bit different. So I wanna start keeping track of all the projects I complete this year. And I started writing them down in just like a regular little notebook, but I had this little journal in in my craft area where I keep my address book and things like that. And it's only got a few things written in it. So I'm going to make this my 2022 crochet journal of all the objects I make, where I found the patterns, whether it's a paid for or free and keep track every month of all the projects I make. And I just think it will be fun at the end of the year to be like, wow, I made nine blankets and I made so much amigurumi. So I'm gonna transfer everything I wrote down here over to here. And what's nice is a lot of times I'll forget where I found a pattern. Come July, I'm not gonna remember in January where I found a pattern. So that's kind of nice. So I just wanted to share that with you. But I wanna show you a bunch of whips that I started. So in my last crochet video, I was telling you that I wanted to make the Santa Gnome out of the Americana yarn. He's not done, he's just a whip, but I completed the body. This is the only part that's not the Americana yarn so far. It's just like a navy blue. I believe it's like, I don't even know, heat wave maybe, but I just had a little scrap ball of it and I wanted to include it so his belt was a solid color. Well then, I made the hat next. So here's the hat. It's just a little misshapen now because of the way it is. I don't do the pom-pom on the top. I just like it like that, so I never include the pom-pom on the top. I don't know why, I just don't. I just prefer it this way. And I realized I finished the brim in the Americana, but I don't, I love the hat. I think it's cute. I think it's cute with the red or the blue and the white up top and then the stripes and then the blue and white. But I don't like how the rim blends into the body. I don't like it. It doesn't look bad. I just don't like it. I wanna see that contrast. That's why I did the edge down here in the blue. So I made another body. I just used Red Heart Super Saver in cherry and then I used a little bit of the Americana for the belt because I just think that looks so much cuter. Of course, his nose and his beard will cover up most of that, but I just love that so much more. So apparently I'm making two red, white, and blue Scandinavian Santa Gnomes. All the patterns and the links will be in the description box below for everything that is a free pattern that I talk about today. This is a free pattern and it's by One Dog Woof. You can find the pattern right on her website. Link is in the description box. But what do you think? I just think that looks so much better. So there we have it. So I'm starting, I started another one. Oops, I don't want my yarn tails hanging all over the place. So this hat will go with that red one out of the Red Heart Cherry. And this guy, I'm just gonna make a new hat. So for this guy, I'm going to do probably maybe just the navy blue because I'm, I pulled my Americana apart in sections and then did the surgeon's knot and I connected all the blue together because once I did the body, I don't like these really jaggedy, abrupt changes. I wanted it even, so like in the hat, they're perfectly even stripes. You know what I mean? So I, for this one, I think I'm just gonna do the navy blue on the top, on the very tippy top, and then red and white stripes, and then like a white brim for this fella. But for this fella, I got his arms done, both of his arms, I just gotta do his legs, and I'm just gonna do them in red and white with navy blue boots. So I got his arms done, and then I got his nose done. Boom, just a little nose, super easy. Well then, <laughs> one of my boys is a Steelers fan. Well, they're both Steelers fan, but one more so loves Pitt Panthers, the college team. 
So I decided to make him <gasps> the Pit Panthers colors a Scandinavian gnome so he can have one too. I was gonna do a Steelers one too, which I probably still will, but now that I've got three of these on ongoing, I'm gonna wait till these are done. But look at how cute that's gonna be. This is just the Red Heart Super Saver in the color gold. And then um, this is just like skipper blue. And I just thought it looked perfect. I mean, look how good it matches. I'll put a picture right here and it's gonna be so cute. So I got that done. I got his legs done and they're just the invisible um, join. And I got his little boots, look at his little feet. So I got that part done. I got his, his body, his hat, his legs, his arms, and his nose as well. So he's ready to be assembled. And then I just have to attach the beard once I get all these parts assembled. So the next time you see this fella, he will be completed. I know I start off with Americana and I wind up finishing this one first. It's because as I, I did this one last and as I was doing the body, I already had the yarn and hook and everything out and colors that I needed. So I just continued until I completed all the parts. So that's ready to be assembled. So three gnomes in the works. And then these are so cute. They're called cottage dish, dish cloths. And they, I'm looking at my notes. Crochet Dreams has this pattern for free on her, on her website. They're so cute. It is such a cute pattern. Um, I wound up using sugar and cream in the color just light blue. I used peaches and cream in the color pastel pink. Ooh, that's like really blown out. Look at, there we go. Pastel pink. And then I used the Dollar Tree Just Yarn Premier, or Just Cotton Premier. And this color is called cream. Nothing super fancy, but there you have it. Love these three colors. So I chose, I selected these three and I made three of the dish cloths. Now look at that beautiful pattern. It's gonna be showing up kind of purpley, but isn't that pretty, that stitch? It's so gorgeous, I and it worked up really fast. It's a simple, like, once you get to, I think, to the second row, once you do your foundation and then your first row and then you do your second row, it's just a second row repeat all the way and for so many rows and then it just, it's textured. It looks the same on both sides. Um, let me see what they measure. Mine wound up finishing at about eight and a half by eight. I don't know why it's wider on one side, but it is. But yeah, I just love the way they turned out. So I made the blue. Here's the cream in the dollar store cream. There's the cream one. And then here's the light pink one. Now the light pink one is gonna blow out, so I'm just gonna hold it back here. You get the idea of the stitch. Isn't that gorgeous though? So I made those three dish cloths, just because, just because I can never have enough dish cloths or wash cloths, so I made those three. I loved the pattern so much that I want to make it in, I have this color in jute, so I'm gonna make it in the sugar and cream, Lily sugar and cream and jute and then in the color Tea Rose. Now that is a gorgeous color. I just love those two colors together. So I'm gonna make it in these two as well. So that is a completed object as well. And then I had these scrap balls of cotton and they've got this little wispy, it's kind of reminds me of eyelash yarn. I got this in a scrap bag somewhere. I think, I don't even know where. I think it was Goodwill. But this, it's like an eyelash. I'm gonna try to show you, but see, it's not like twisted really good. You could just pull it, you could just pull it apart. It's got all these super colorful little dots in it. And it's just so pretty. And I held it together, obviously. I, I just paid attention to where it was. Because I've got like five balls like this. And it's just such a cute yarn. It's like a ikru color. 
and I made, this is nobody's pattern but my own. It's nothing fancy, nothing. It's just single crochet. I do 25 or 26 uh, crochets, and then I just single crochet back and forth all the way across. But isn't that delicious? Look at it, it looks like, oh, I wish you could see. Oh, that's a nice angle. Look at all those colorful little sprinkle dots in there. And it's kind of like a, I wanna say a scrubby, but it's not, it's cotton yarn, but those little dots, they're like a little, they're a little rougher. So it's, it'll be a nice like scrubbing cloth, exfoliation, washcloth, whatever. But isn't that lovely? I just love all those little colorful sprinkles. So I'm calling this my sprinkles washcloth. So I did that one too. And I, like I said, I have about five more of these. So I'm gonna make as many until I don't have any more. And then I'll just use the scraps for like stripes or something. So that's another finished object. And then, thank you all so much for the wonderful suggestions regarding the baby blanket, that corner to corner where I ran out of the yarn. People had suggested I pull back and put a stripe in the middle and then finish off do a contrasting corner and embroider the name, but it's for charity, so I don't know the name. So that embroidering wasn't really an option. Um, and I tried several color yarns. I tried aqua because there's little aqua splashes in it. I tried just yellow. I tried white. I tried an, another version of coral or peach in all baby yarn. And I just, the texture was different, even though both baby yarns were really soft. So I wound up breaking down and my husband bought me another skein of the flex yarn. Let me take off the little thing to show you which side. So he did, he wound up breaking down. He got me another skein and here is the corner to corner completed. So it's all done, all finished. It's still gorgeous, I absolutely love it. I'm glad I wound up finishing it off with the true color that it is. And then I just did, this is Caron Simply Soft in um, light yellow or something like that. And I wound up just bordering it in the block stitch like that for to finish it off. But now that I have quite a bit of this left, I'm gonna make a lovey or a little stuffed bear or something cute and just donate it together. But I did finish the baby blanket. So that is done. And I just love how soft it is. Caron Simply Soft is a wonderful yarn to use with this like uh, flex yarn because it's about the same thickness. It's the same softness and it's just beautiful. I just love the way it turned out. I think it just turned out lovely. That's another finished object. So that's done. Then you remember that book that my friend Silbo Barbara sent me, my books in Alaska? I decided to start making little stuffies out of these patterns inside. I wanna do every single one of them. So the very first one I did, let me find them real quick. So the first one I did is Willie the Whale. His name is Willie. And he's just so cute. Now, I think she recommended a 3.5 millimeter hook. That's a little bit too small for me, so I used a four. And look at how cute he is. He turned out so cute. Super simple pattern, super easy. I did this in about an hour. He is just so stinking cute. The yarn I used was the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in blue. And I just thought it was perfect because see how he started to change and then his, fit, uh, his flaps are like a little bit darker. I just think he turned out so cute. So I'm really proud of the way he turned out. And with how fast that worked up, I'm pretty sure I can get these all done in no time. I mean an hour. Maybe not all of them, because there are some that are a little bit more intricate. But, little Willie the Whale. So I finished him. Then I finished the another trinket box. Remember I told you I wanted to make one in sage green? This pattern is by sweetsofties.com. And because of the light, 
it's it's just this really pretty sage green color. It's, this yarn is from the Dollar Tree, just yarn, acrylic, and I did another one of that. So now I have the sage green, the lavender, and the pink, and I'll put a picture right here of what they all look like sitting together, and now I can get these off. So I finished the sage green one, and now I gotta start uh, two more. My niece wanted some, so I'm gonna make her two. But I finished that. And then I did, oh, I did three more rainbows for the crafting, the rainbow afghan. Remember I showed two in my last video? I did, where is it? Yeah. So I did this one. Got one more of those done, all them bubbles. This is a free pattern on crafting, craftinggranny.com. It's an old pattern. And then they call for three solid whites. So I got, um, I got this one and I got this one done. So I got three more rainbows done. This one's gonna take me a while. It just is, I just know it. But now I have five rainbows done. I have one more white one to make and then I'm gonna do some half ones and put the first two rows together to see what it looks like but I'm so excited, it, I love it so much. And then, remember my cactus coasters I was making on Divine Debris, I think that's how you say it, dot com? She had these cactus coasters, and I was like, how cute would that be as a zippered pouch? Well, I showed you those, I added the flower up here, and I added the little spikies, and then I added the two flowers onto the saguaro, and then this one I showed you, I completed this one and then I attached them together. Now, those are, those are going to be hidden because it's going to be a pouch. I did the slip stitch join, but I put it on the inside because I love the way that looks for a zippered pouch. Like the, the indent instead of the bulgy out. I know somebody's gonna be like, you're doing it wrong. I don't care. I like it. So, I, and I attached them all. So now it is going to, all I gotta do is make the lining and zipper and then hand sew, hand sew it in. <gasps> but what a cute pouch is that gonna be? I love it. it. This is, it's gonna be kind of an odd shape, but it's about 12 inches wide and it's going to stand at about six and a half inches tall, but I love it so much. It's gonna be such a cute little zippered pouch and I found perfect piece of scrap fabric in my scraps to to line it so next time you see this it's going to be a zipper pouch so that's in the works and because I finished the other baby blanket I started a new one because I always have to have a baby blanket in the works so this is called uh, lilac meadows the pattern Lilac Meadows Baby Blanket, and it is by lovelifeyarn.com. And it is so cute. It's such a cute pattern. The textures are delicious. It's in this really pretty rose, or rose, purple color, lilac color that I'm using. That's more true to the color over here. But it's such a pretty stitch. It works up really quick. I think I'm on row 33 and I did this like in just a few hours in the evening. But I am using some vintage yarn I have in my stash and it's called Fore and Aft and the color is Larkspur. But it's just, it's a sport weight. And I just absolutely love this blanket. It is so much fun to work on. And it's just such a pretty stitch. I wish the lighting wasn't. I'm gonna see if this will make a difference. Hold on. Let me turn those up a little bit. Oh yeah, it's not too dark, see? But isn't that such a pretty stitch? Super simple pattern. Go check it out. Lovelifeyarn.com. And it's called the Lilac Meadows Baby Blanket. I'm loving working on this. It's just so cute. So that's another work in progress. So those are all the things that I've been working on crochet wise. And darn that Debbie Canadian crotcheter. 
So I was kind of, in my last video, I said, I'm kind of in a Crojo funk, I don't know. But I discussed starting on the Santa gnomes and stuff. Well, she had watched that video and she texted me this pattern of the two-tone granny square. I forget what it's called right now, but it's so cool. She wound up doing a video showing all the blankets she made. She just recently did it. I love that pattern so much, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna start on that. I love it. It looks super intricate. I loved her little squares and all her blankets. I'm gonna put a link to her video where she talks about that pattern down below. And I love it. I'm going to make one, but I, at that point when she had texted it, I had had too many works in progress. I had the three Santa gnomes, I had the rainbow blanket still, and I had already started the Lilac Meadows baby blanket. So that's next. It is on my very long list of things to make. So that's it guys. That's all the crochet projects I have in the works right now. I just wanted to share with you the patterns and, and what I've been working on and what's been keeping me busy. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today and spending a little bit of your time with me, seeing what I've been working on, keeping me busy. I appreciate it so much. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here and I will see you all in the next video. Happy crafting. This is Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria here. Bye-bye. Oh, I got to sneeze. Boy, my hands are super dry. I don't mind. Yeah, whatever. You can't probably see them. Ooh. Let me see. Let me find the pattern. Who is it by? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs>